Okay, so here's the situation. I have two towns, town A and town B. And I want to go from A to B. And so on, and I break this trip, I drive on the interstate, and the first half of the trip, I go an average of 60 miles per hour. So that's, that's 20 miles halfway. And then the second half, I'm like, oh man, I need to make my average velocity 70 miles per hour. So how fast do I have to go on the second half to get uh, average speed of 70 miles per hour? So V average total equals 70. V1 equals 60. V2 equals, I don't know. Okay, so let's think about this. If you say, oh, well, that's easy. If you want to get an average of 70, it would just be 80. 80 plus 60 divided by 2 would give you 70. Okay, well, let's just check. Okay, we're just, we're just going to check. We'll start with the definition of the average velocity. V average is delta x over delta t. So I know that uh, delta x1 equals 20 miles. Delta x2 equals 20 miles. I also know the velocity, so I can get delta x, but I need the times. So let's go up here and calculate the time for part 1. I'm calling this 1 and this 2. So for 1, I can say 60 miles per hour equals delta x1 over delta t1. So delta t1 going to be delta x1 over 60. And so I know those two things. Okay, so that's actually 20. So this is actually one-third hours. Okay, that's not so hard. Now let's put this, let's write the expression for, um, for the second half. We'll call that v2 equals delta x2, which is 20, divided by delta t2, which I don't know. Okay, so let's find delta 2, T2, and then I can find V2. So if I go up here to the total average, I say V average, which is 70, that's what I want it to be. It's going to be the total distance, 40 miles. And then the time, which is delta T1, one third, plus delta T2, which I don't know. So I can multiply both sides by this and divide by 70, and I get one-third plus delta t2 equals 40 divided by 70 equals four-sevenths. Now I can subtract one-third from both sides and I get delta t2 equals four-sevenths minus one-third. And if you put that in your calculator, you get 0 0.238 hours. So now up here I can say 20 miles, right, because we're just talking about the last part, 20 miles divided by 0 0.238 hours, and I get 84 miles per hour. So why do I have to go faster than 80 to get, which is illegal? No. Um, or it is not, someone said it's not illegal, it's against the speed, I don't know, just don't do it. Um, so if you think about the average velocity, you can't just add them because it has to do with uh, times, right? And I'm gonna have to go faster than 80 miles per hour because the time for this part is a lot less than the time for that. They're not split up equally in time. Just because they're split up equally in distance does not mean they're equal in time. And so you always want to go back to the definition of the average velocity. Don't try to just intuit this and say, oh, well, it's just, just average. I don't have to do anything hard. When in doubt, just write it out. Hey, that rhymes. Okay, well, there's your answer. How do you calculate average velocity?